Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 27th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather beautiful today, but rain will come right back in here late tonight. Tomorrow, part of the day, Thursday, rain may be heavy at times. Let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper air look, big trough in the western states that will be progressive and ultimately affect us. This morning, clear and cool. Look at those 30s for Haleyville, Fort Payne, and Gadsden. Birmingham 48, but the high today around 70, a beautiful day, bright, sunny weather. Around the nation, colder air dipping into the northern states again. And we'll feel some of that late this week on Friday. More heavy rain ahead from northeastern Texas up through parts of the Mid-South. Those are flood watches. Then Alabama, it's an aerial flood watch technically for the Tennessee Valley, the county served by the National Weather Service in Huntsville. Uh, and that's for the possibility of rain amounts of two to four inches tomorrow and Thursday. In terms of severe weather, there's a marginal risk of severe storms over parts of Texas today. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk for places like Shreveport, Monroe and Louisiana, El Dorado, Arkansas, Greenville, Mississippi, and a marginal risk to the Alabama border, no part of Alabama involved in this, and on day three, which is Thursday, thunderstorms are possible here, but for now, no organized severe storms are expected in Alabama. But rain, yeah, some of the heaviest rain in the country right down here across parts of the Mid-South. This is the rain for the next seven days in Alabama. The Shoals, 4.5, Huntsville, 4.1. And this will be after midnight tonight, tomorrow and Thursday. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, rain amounts about one inch under one half inch for the southern half of the state. So model fans, let's dive in here and take a look. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today, upper low over Los Angeles. Zonal flow here in a dry air mass. Again, a beautiful day. Uh, the sky should be sunny with a high close to 70 with rain to the west. Some of that rain could creep in here after midnight tonight and then tomorrow. A warm front lifts north and rain is likely over the northern half of the state. Heaviest rain should be over the Tennessee Valley. Cloudy with highs in the 60s. Thursday, a deep surface low is near Cleveland with a trailing front. And again, we'll have rain and storms on Thursday. And the question is, could we see any severe weather? And the main limiting factor is the lack of instability. This is the surface-based cape at noon Thursday, and there's basically none for the northern half of the state. So uh, that's the good news, and we don't expect any big severe weather worries, but a lot of rain with potential for some flooding over the Tennessee Valley. And then Friday, we are cool and dry. The high will drop to about 60, a pretty good north wind. The sky will be sunny. Our friends up in New England and the northeast United States will have to watch for that big coastal low that's going to bring a lot of wind and rain and snow. And sorting that thing out is going to be a lot of fun for our friends up there. Hey, the weekend, Saturday. We're going to start the day well down in the 30s. And again, the colder pockets could see a freeze. We could see some frost elsewhere. But we warm up nicely. The high Saturday should be in the mid-60s. A bright, sunny sky. Beautiful. And Sunday, we're dry. When's the last time we had a totally dry weekend? Uh, Sunday morning, again, will be in the 30s. The high will be in the upper 60s. Some spots may be touching 70. Just fantastic. Go to Monday of next week, you know, the cold front uh, from that deep surface low over Minnesota. Uh, looks like maybe some showers creeping in here by Monday night. It's Monday night at midnight. And Tuesday, a week from today, troughing north and west of the state, cold front moving through here slowly. So we'll mention a chance of rain Monday night and Tuesday of next week. And again, with a uh, surface low so far north, severe weather not especially likely. And this is Thursday of next week, the uh, end of the forecast period, March 8th. Look at the trough on the eastern seaboard. That looks pretty cold. Uh, again, it sure looks like toward the end of next week, we could see a pretty good freeze for much of the state. Now, uh, the NAO goes strongly negative. 
as we go into March later this week and stays negative through at least March 9th. And these are the ensemble numbers. And again, with the ensemble, you're not going to see a lot of, uh, uh, you know, cold air spikes in advance, but uh, you can see the trend toward highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s out there. And again, I would fully expect on at least one or two mornings, we could see a freeze in here. Expect several more of those before the season wraps up. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.